what's going on youtube come back at you with another video okay so we got some interesting news about dmx one of my favorite rappers of all time he said this is on his instagram in his ongoing commitment to putting family and sobriety first dmx has checked himself into a rehab facility he apologizes for his canceled shows and thanks his fans for their continued support apparently dmx still continuing his fight with drugs um this has been an ongoing issue for a long time we've seen dmx go through a whole lot and it's all from the drugs taking their toll on him and his you know mental this is what happens with drugs it's an ongoing a lot of times for people it's an ongoing fight it never ends some people are never able to beat it i'm hoping in dmx's case that's not the situation that he is able to get the kind of help that he needs and get back out here. It was looking good for DMX. I was really excited about this new um, deal that he signed with Def Jam. And then I heard the news of the 35th anniversary Def Jam party. DMX was supposed to be there. I believe he was supposed to perform, although I'm not sure if he was performing, but he, he no showed. And um, that was a, you know, a bad sign of things that potentially could be coming so again this is an ongoing issue for dmx hopefully he's able to finally get you know rise above this whole situation but this ain't no joke when you're messing with drugs you're messing with hard drugs and over a long period of time you're not able to beat it it kind of just like takes over your body you really have no choice but to do what the drugs want you to do that's the way that they're designed they're created to make it so you are not able to kick the addiction it's very hard to do um it's a lifelong battle i'm gonna tell you a story i actually have uh, a very close connection to dmx just based on my own life situation when i was 16 years old i was in a group home type of place i didn't want to be there anymore i said fuck this one day i'm out of here I packed my little shit up. One of the only things that I had before I ran out the door was a Walkman and a DMX It's Dark, Hell is Hot tape. And I listened to that tape over and over. And when I was running away from that facility, I had my headphones on. I was listening to DMX. And I'll just never forget that connection of how deep that album was to me, especially at the time. Um, a lot of respect for DMX as an artist. Again, he, to me, is one of the greatest rappers of all time, without question. But I hope you can beat this situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. Make sure you leave some feedback. Also, ring the notification bell. I definitely appreciate you, though. Peace.